The tragedy for British golf. America regained the cup by nine matches to three. Hagen receives the trophy. First, listen to one of Haile Selassie's young soldiers. I am 15 years old. My home is in Addis Ababa. Italy wants to make war against my people. We, we are a peace-loving country and have my folks do here in Ethiopia without being troubled by foreign countries. We do not want war, but if we are attacked, we will fight to the last drop of our blood to protect our home. My father and brother will take me along when they go to war. War has broken out without a formal declaration and Adara has fallen. In Addis Ababa, the end of the rainy season does not mean the end of rain, though the calendar says that it should. And crowds in the capital demonstrate against Italy as news of the Italian invasion comes through. Meanwhile, a cloud burst swamps the city. <coughs> the emperor, imperturbable as ever, and now clad in army uniform, performs the traditional rites of the fate of Moscow, walking with his youngest son round the sacred tree. Associated with the occasion is a great march past of the emperor's uniformed troops, probably the last such parade before the black soldiers are called upon to go into action. Observe the good marching discipline of the infantry. Note also the fine horses on which the cavalry is mounted. After the march past comes a frantic display of enthusiasm on the part of the ununiformed warriors, led by a chief in a lion skin. These are the type of feudal fighters on whom the brunt of the conflict will fall. And now, we're going to show you the first pictures to reach Western Europe from the actual sectors where fighting has commenced. First, from the Italian side of the line. Here are General de Bono, Commander-in-Chief, and Count Ciano, Mussolini's son-in-law, striding along to watch the moving up of the guns and the bringing up of supplies after the Italian advance. From the other side, reinforcements of warriors are continually on the move. In the lower-lying district, some progress can be made by lorry, but everywhere transport presents difficulties with rough going over trackless country intersected by ravines and torrents. However, the Abyssinians are mobile and know the land. They are adept at guerrilla warfare, good marksmen who harass the enemy with their sniping and never waste a shot. They are lightly armed, but nevertheless possess anti-aircraft and machine guns. And so, the war becomes fact and newspaper headlines as well as newsreel material. It's a sad turn of fate to be presenting war pictures on British screens again.